Perch Pro 7 is brought to you by JR Logistic, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of Perch Pro 7. We are entering the second half of day 1 and the contestants just got to know the results of the other teams. Up until now, Team Bite Oblique Lure fans have dominated the show and are holding no less than 3 points. But now that the teams know the results of each other, they may adjust their tactics. Let's see if we have any changes in their strategies. So, welcome back. Second episode and still continuing the quest for the big topwater fish. That's all we fish for. Oh, behind us, chasing, chasing, chasing. Still there, cast, 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 cast. Good. So the report was uh, basically what we were expecting. Uh, nobody really going for topwater, which is good for us. Uh, we were a little bit afraid of the team in uh, France here because they have a could have a really good top water with big fish in the morning. Of course, uh, a lot of other guys can start switching to that later on, but it was uh, eventually what we thought about. We're still in the game. We need that right fish, and that's what we planned from the beginning. So let's crawl over 45 now and see what we can do. So that's the first cast of Perch Pro Season 7, Episode 2. Our plan is to catch the biggest topwater fish and if we are really, really lucky, we could maybe get the numbers point because in the evening they start biting way more. So maybe if we are lucky, we can also snatch this point, but we had not that good chances to do that. Oh! Fish first cast, second episode. But good one? And oh, no. Keeper? It's a keeper. It doesn't matter. What? It's a keeper, yes. Actually, woo! It was longer than I thought. Not 36, but it's a keeper. It's 31 centimeters. Not any good one, but first cast, first pro, episode two, on top water, 31. Let's put it back. Bye. Hello guys, new episode, episode two. We're happy, right? Yeah, we're really happy. It's a surprise a little bit. Yeah, a little, little bit surprised. We, we thought we, that the other one has, you know, better some, some better kicker fish, yeah, I expected. Yeah. And not that we would have the number point at this point. No, no. Because we didn't go for it. We didn't go for numbers. No. So three pounds is almost too good to be true, but you know, now we're in this, we don't want to lose it. So one or two more big fishes. And we're then still I... going for the big five. Yeah, yeah. That is our yeah. game plan. There's game plan. Yeah. yeah. So two good fish more, then yeah. I think we can drop it and go for numbers. Welcome back to episode two. We uh, are in the game, but uh, we need to step up. The other guys have some really, really big fish. We have a couple of good ones and we need a couple more. We need at least three more big ones yeah. to have a chance to compete with these guys this year. They have some really, really big fish, so let's take one. After the first form report, the numbers are not possible for us. Uh, the top five is pretty impressive. So we decided to try to get the top water point first because it's only 36 and I have a bite. And uh, maybe that's at the moment the easiest point to catch, but if we get it quick, maybe we can play for the top five as well. Oh, that was good fish. No, not so big as thought. Net? It was swimming towards me. No, no, it's not that big. So the area we started is a, there's a nice drop off and there's a tree in four meters of water. So there are always school of perch around. It's good. It's good, but it's not. It's a click. 36, it's a click, that's true. So the next fish, I think it's around maybe 34. It's really close to the top water point, but it's not enough. But they are biting. Hey guys, episode two is on. So wish us luck. We, we keep the same target. We want that big fish on top water, so most of the time. At least one of us is fishing top water, that's the plan. And the other one will be fishing jerk bait, uh, just to, to be more aggressive into the weed. That's, that's the plan for the moment. Get one top water bite would be enough, because there are many chances it's a big one. And, uh, and do the rest with, with the KVD jerk bait. Are you sure we are on the point with the, with the weed? Because I don't see weed on... Uh... On the bottom? Uh, no, no, we aren't. But I can't go over the kids. So <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to, to go away and then we go. All right. Well, it's clear now we can go, I think. Welcome back! Perch Pro 7, episode 2. Stay tuned. 
Oh. I see a perch. I will get it. <laughs> Is this squirrel pro? Pro? <laughs> Do you get a bite? Yeah. Uh, I do the same as you. <laughs> you get the branch bites. Oh, you just got your out? I you didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Sorry for the solidarity. Yeah. <laughs> How to tie a knot on the tree. Pro style. <laughs> soon, soon, soon on Fly TV. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, that's how the pro do it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to episode two of Perch Pro 7. We are on the same spot where we finished last episode and uh, we have the top fish on top water and we're gonna go all in to try to catch one more even bigger topwater fish because we know we have the chance yeah. and now we are on this lake on the same spot but we have another spot where we maybe gonna go and try the, the evening fishing and we know we have the chance of a big fish and top five and another yeah. topwater fish yeah. so we're gonna go all in for all three points but focus on a big fish and the topwater yeah that's the plan that's the plan all right, there we have the strategies of our eight teams. As expected, there are now many teams targeting the top water point since that seems like the lowest hanging fruit. Pelle and Peter in Team Bite of Lake Lure fans are still holding them up one by one. Can't you tell us a little bit more how you're fishing? Guys, I'm going to show you how we search. We're using the Hummingbird Mega 360. So here we have some school of uh, bait fish, bait fish. And you can see on the rocks here that we have some perch, we have some shadows, we have perch there. So it's easy for us to, to point up on a spot and then have the, the 360 who's you know checking the area around us and we can just pinpoint the cast to the fish. So that's how we fish. This is a huge one. Lunker. Oh my god. Just going. <laughs> Same size as the other. <laughs> but this was so strong. <laughs> no, 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 that's a better one. No, no, I don't think so. 46 centimeters. Good one. Bait? It's a 12 centimeter extra shad in Champoy. Normally I would use the 9 centimeters, but upsizing to get these babies. I want the 50 now. When I hang up the phone, I heard bite of bleak. <laughs> I was screaming the, like the, crazy. the first year. 61 fish, 2 meter and 32, and a tough fish 48. Holy mother of God, that's pretty impressive. They catch numbers and big ones. Yeah, they have, so, they have three points. The they? thing is, they will go to that lake again the next day. 100%. Do you think 100%. they're in Sweden? Yes, yeah, they are up here. Up here? Yeah. Up here? Yeah. And, uh, then we should try to the new lake tomorrow. High risk move, who cares? Oh, good one, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. And now we keep on getting the numbers, but I think they will be quite hard to catch up on. That's the problem. Second cast, episode two, season seven. Another keeper on top water, but we need them to be like two or three centimeters longer. But still, it's a good sign that they are biting. A slight touch further south in Sweden, Team Ilex Gunki are changing strategy, going all in for big fish. We really tried hard for the top water, but we quit now and then we go out for the big fish. Yeah. So it was this morning I put on the new side of the nitro shed. We came out with the 65 centimeter version. Um, we expected to, we, that we can play for the numbers, so, but if we, after the phone report we know we can't do that. So I will put on a bigger size because the perch are really eating big fish here. They throw a lot of times bait fish and they're really big, even bigger than that one. And I hope I can get a big one on the famous Nitro Shed. I also put the Nitro Booster. Um, they really swallow it much better or you get more bite if you put this on. If you don't put it on, you maybe get short bite and they really not swallow it, but with the Nitro Booster, they really swallow it and 
I'm gonna try it. Nice fish. On the net. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there's a bigger one behind. And that's already. I think it's could be a 40. Mark and Gael are already holding the big fish point with a 48 cm perch and they have two more 40 plusers on the board. If they get two more fish in the high 40s, they'll be in the game for the top 5 point. Okay, let's start to fight. Yes, yes perfect. Man. Well done. Great job. And there was a bigger fish with that one. There were two fish going down. Oh, look at the sonar. You can see them going down. It was two with them. I've got one. Okay. Yeah, big one. Big one. Yeah, that's the one. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> two per two, man! <laughs> Look at this net. <laughs> A net for a perch. Good job. Good job. Good job. Paid off to go for the big fish. Yeah. We're going to see how big they are on the board. So, let's go. That's the smaller one. Boogie crow. There. And this one is... 41. 41. This one, he really wants a nitro shed. It's 44. 44. 41 and 44. That's really good. That's really good. So let's release them. Yes, they go down. Good job. Good improve. When you are two fishermen, if they are really school of perch, you look and if they are, you put your back, your lure back and you try to catch another one. The perch are always in school. More bigger they are, less the school. But the more we go to the winter, more the school are going to be compact. So don't forget this and go to school. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Two quick ones for Team Illes Gunke et Vula. They're closing in on Team Lure Fans by the Bleak. With 221 centimeters, they have the same top 5 length as CWC fishing team. But Sporting aren't too far behind with 4 good sized fish on the board. One more big perch might be all they need. No, I got it. There you go. Oh. I'm ready. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Boom. Boom. Finally. Not, not, a, not a big one, it, but okay. It's a nice. We got one for the paper. Oh, it it's not a tank, but it's a nice one. At least full paper, finally. Chatterbaits, blade baits with uh, the Lizard E as a tail. Had a long, long, long period without no fish. This is the fifth the one that it's we need. 40. Yeah, it's a 40. Super pretty, really healthy fish. But uh, unfortunately for us, too small. But it's a super nice fish. Look at this one. Yeah. Look how pretty, look at the sun, how pretty it is. Not a single scratch. Oh man, they're nice. Finally, after four hours with no bite, I comes one. Not the one that we wanted, but it's really nice to get one again. Feel you a little bit in the business. At least we have five fish now, but it's way, way, way behind. Way behind. Back. There. Fish. Oh. Fish, fish, fish. Better, better, better. It's a big one. How we? It's a, a pike. pike. It's a pike. I'll lose the bait. We see a lot of bait fish and uh, some perches going around the boat on side vision. And now when we are fishing quite deep, I'm fishing with uh, Ray Swimmer from uh, Striking. It's a really brilliant uh, shad jig and I have it with a 20 gram jig head. And it's a quite heavy bait. And it's really good when we are fishing around 7 to 10 meters. And when I'm fishing a shad jig with a heavy head, I like to fish it with a quite powerful rod. And here I'm fishing a Custom Pro Magnum Bass Rod from Loose. It's perfect for the job. It's a medium heavy power, fast action, 7 foot long. And it's perfect to, for making long cast with heavy head. And let the bait sink to the bottom and I have full control of the bait the whole way in. So that's really important to have the right equipment when you're fishing a big shad jig. We still have one fish, one topwater fish on 36 centimeter. So time to step up now, Per. I think we're gonna, we need to change location soon because we have one uh, lake nearby. 
where we have really have the chance of really great fishing as well. So it's really hard to decide if we're gonna stay for like 30 minutes, one hour more, or if we should go now directly to the new lake, or what should we do? But if the fishing keep this slow, we can't stay too long. So I think we're gonna change lake. We're gonna make some more cost and then decide how to do. Oh, that's a big have ass. It, have it, have it. It's that's a good one. It's, it's, it's the one. You're in the net. You're staying in the net. Oh, big followers. Oh. Or oh, maybe it's, oh. it's not that big. It's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> but intense, intense, intense. We're chasing the top of the point, and I think that uh, the team Hummingbird is doing the same. Also, the Loose team. I think we're going to be like four teams going for the top of the point because the Lure fans did so well. No one is cl even close for the numbers, and not for the top five either. But it's 33 centimeter. Nice one. I'll put it back. So the jig was not that effective, so I changed to a shadow bait. We will see. Maybe that makes a difference, because after the phone report, it was not really good fishing until now. I have to say, right, Toby? Nope, just a couple of small ones on the top water. Oh, yeah! Good one. Don't know. Oh. Chasing, a lot of chasing. I, I, I will cast afterwards. You see them? Yes. Behind? Oh, shadow bait. Ah, fuck. Oh, I have one. Yeah, but I have to cut it. Yeah. Keeper. This it's one is actually quite good. But Toby, I have a hook in my hand. Yeah. I'll make sure it's quicker, then I'll help you. Yeah, it's just approved. Bye. Oh, mine is approved too. Ah, oh, No. I think that's deep. It's in Toby, right? Oh, yeah. But what to do? What you should do, but I'm not sure. You should take this plier and then just press it outwards. I think it's better with this plier. Ouch, man! That's the nightmare of every angler, especially in a competition of this dignity. Oh, it's not working. Yeah, like you have some nerves in there and stuff like that, so you don't want to... But what to do? Can you fish with the hook in your finger? <laughs> this was not good. Give me the plier. This plier? This one, yeah. And I'm not sure because it's really deep, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ah! Do you think you manage or should you or go to a hospital? The no, hospital, we have to fish Perch Pro, don't you think so? Ah! We really need to be able to push it out. So I, then I can just use the power cutter and cut the hook off. But it's very deep, so it seems like it's extremely hard. Ah, oh, that hurts, man, that hurts. I don't, I don't know what to do. And the problem is, we're like, we're up north in like nowhere, and there's like no close hospital here. So we can't go there quick. With Team Nay stuck, literally, with a hook in Dustin's hand, it's business as usual for the other seven teams. No big surprises when it comes to lure fans bite of bleak, they are still crushing it, but are only catching perch up to 45 centimeters, which, as crazy as it might sound, aren't helping them more than just another click. Team Striking Loose haven't seen a fish in hours and are now making a drastic move to another lake as fast as humanly possible. Down in Holland, Adam and Evert are also struggling and are only catching the wrong species. Niklas and Frederik are also having problems locating the perch and are only fighting carp and jumping food, as they say in France. Their French colleagues Sylvain and JB do manage to catch some striped warriors, but are encountering another problem. Hi. Okay, in. No way. Yeah. Sylvain did it again. Uh, I need a plier, please. It happens uh, almost every time. All time. Oh, yes. Look at that idiot. Uh, je veux bien que tu me m'aides, s'il te plaît. Just to remove uh, that hook. This is incredible. In all seasons of Perch Pro, we've never had anyone hooking themselves, and now we have two at the very same time. Two teams down, six teams still standing, and in the midst of all this chaos, Lurfans by the Blick just landed a possible upgrade. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The <laughs> DK5. I have grinded for this one. Oh my god, this, this, is, this is a good one. Yeah, it's gonna fit on the paper, I think. 
Oh, it's so fat. So that is the fattest today. She took um, the, the DK5, the double kill five centimeters, in the color number five, and it's a nice fish. Look at that one. This one is, I think, the heaviest. Yeah. Must be one of the yeah. heaviest today. Yeah. Let's see. This is a 46. Yeah, let's put her back. This is awesome. Uh, I will do it now. I don't know how much this hurts. I've done it a couple of times when it was winter. Then you can just put your hand inside the water, wait for two minutes, then uh, you're numb in your hand and you can just push it out. Uh. Ow! Do we have disinfection? Yes. Uh. I can't even watch. I should not become a doctor. Uh. Oh. oh, yes. Finally. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, pushed it through. And now he can cut it and we can continue fishing. Or let's bring a power cutter if this happens. Uh. I think now. We have some karma and we'll get at least one point. Okay, this is another way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvain made my day again. Well, get yourself a big plier in the boat, just to make sure just this is remaining. Once you are good with it, you take it here, just firmly, and do that. And that's okay. Sylvain, 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 Sylvain. All good. Next one. Luckily, everyone made it out alive and I guess the moral of the story is make sure to be well prepared because shit will happen sooner or later. A good power cutter, some pliers, disinfection and some kind of bandage will get you far. It looks like a major injury. It was just a hook in the thumb but I think now we lost 15 minutes, Toby? Yep. Could have been way worse. Could have been worse going to the hospital but let's continue fishing. We started the day off fairly well, we're in second place and um, we moved to our, uh, like the, the jewel in the crown for us, which is in the ending area of the underwater ridge. So it's a spot that provided a lot of nice big fish and we're certain that this is where we improve. So we're gonna, we're gonna chainsaw this place. It's gonna be in tiny, tiny bits when we're done. So during the pre-fishing we had actually biting all day. We left the spots as soon as we got anything. Now it's absolutely zero wind and the fishing has died off a bit. So hopefully we can trigger some fish to bite and get it going again. So yeah, we insist on this point because uh, it's an opening here yeah, because the, the channel is coming out and uh, we have a good uh, point, underwater point. We are standing on a, on a rocky place and in between it's a lot of uh, grass, a weed, a weed bed coming out. So uh, that's a good uh, holding point. Oh, big ones, big ones, big ones. Ooh, big ones, big ones. Ooh, whole school. Look at them, look at them. Ooh, look at them. Right here, you see them? There was some 40 plus in that one. So we got them excited there. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're in France, you eat the baguette. <laughs> and you eat the local cheese, which is really, really, really good. So you open it like that, take some pork in fat here. It's called rillette. Rillette. Mm. Rillette du Mans. Really good stuff. Take some really good ham. Cheers, man. <laughs> Cheers. When fishing hard, it's important to eat even harder. What are you having, Peter? Bratwurst. My feeling is that I need to give the big ones time. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Net. Wait, wait, don't lose it. It's strong. It's really strong. Is it a pike? No, it's, it's a perch. It's a perch. Big one. Yeah. Preparing lunch and catching lunkers at once, like a pro. I don't think it will fit on our paper. I will try. See, 45. <laughs> That's what we have on the, sm on the paper, right? Yeah, for 46. Yeah, so this was a 45. You're too small, my baby. You fix the food, then you take a cast <laughs> and a 45. Go to 45. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Let's try it again. Okay, Peter had some success on the color champ oil in the 12 centimeters. So I'm gonna go for the color little whale. It's a good perch color that we use a lot home. So let's give it a try in this lake. As Team Striking Loose are arriving at a new lake, Team Nace have finally started fishing again. They're second on numbers and second on top water, and while they know it will be extremely hard to steal the number point from lure fans, 
Catching a topwater perch about 36 centimeters seems way more realistic. Tobias and Dustin have been haunted by bad luck the whole day, but maybe the hook in Dustin's hand will provide them with the karma they need. Oh, I have following. Oh, oh. it's like a big fish. Yeah. Oh, just a big one. Oh, good. Net, 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 net. Yes. yes. You think it's a new top fish? Yeah, it's, it's a new top fish for sure. New top fish. Good. Yes, it was on like a couple of times. I'm gonna anchor here, okay? Yeah. It's not fat, but actually it's quite long. Let's see if it's a new top fish. Yeah, it is. It is. It's 37 centimeter. So it's a new top fish. For us. For Team Nays and hopefully for a whole competition. We knew we could count on you, Toby. New topwater top fish by a tiny margin to Team Nays with a 37 centimeter warrior. Only one centimeter longer than the previous top fish by striking loose. But enough to give the topwater point to Team Nays. Well fought, and the next time fishing is slow, I'll definitely try hooking myself in my hand. Well, no, don't do that, kids. In another lake in the north of Sweden, Per and Victor just arrived after a high risk move to a new lake, doing everything they can to take back the topwater point. Yeah, now we have burned 40 minutes and we are on the new lake and we're gonna do some topwater fishing here. And we have one spot where we have caught a big topwater fish before and we're gonna start there. And I'm gonna start with a caffeine shad, striking caffeine shad of Seth Rigged, topwater fishing and Victor gonna go for a sexy dog. So let's see how it goes. Even though Pat and Victor can't know for sure that someone has caught a topwater perch bigger than 36 centimeters, they certainly know that the chances are slim that it will last the whole day. Pat tries a very different kind of topwater lure, the caffeine shad from striking, which turned out to be a great choice. Oh, perch up! Oh. <laughs> yes! Good work, Pat. On the caffeine shad. <laughs> nice. Maybe it's a increase of the top fish on top water. Should I get the measure board? Yeah, please. A beautiful perch. Not the biggest, but on top water. And it took on a caffeine shad. A striking caffeine shad. And this is a really nice bait. And you can rig it with an offset hook. With a weight on if you want, a belly weight. But this one I rigged only with an offset hook and uh, twitch it in the, in the surface. And it's diving down like one centimeter and up on the surface again and skippering on the surface and down a little bit and up and down. So yeah, caffeine shad on the surface, big perch. 37, increase over the top fish with one more extra centimeter on the top water. See you later. Boom! Now I have a really good feeling for this. <laughs> I think we can, we, we, we can manage to catch a bigger one as well. The bait is dancing in the surface. Yeah, it's really dancing because it has a really big tail and it holds in the water really well and are darting and skipping on the surface like really a, a fleeing bait fish. And you can fish it really, really fast. And here I fished it really fast and I should just pick up the bait from, from, uh, from the water uh, one meter from the boat and the perch was just poof, smashing the bait. So it's really, really, really great fun to fish this bait. Pat and Victor were off the water for 40 minutes and during that time they were robbed of the top water point by Team Nays. However, it only took them a couple of minutes in the new lake to snatch it right back. They both now have a 37 centimeter perch on top water, which gives them one point each if no one catches a bigger one later on in the competition. It's not the biggest, but another one on top water. <laughs> Good work, Pat. You know, I have fished in the other lake for the whole day with no bites. And then when you finally get some perch, it feels awesome. But I think this one is under 30, but let's check. No, it's 31 centimeter. Right now, when we are fishing this spot, we are putting the perch in the lie well because we don't want to spook the other fish. And when we have fished this spot for like five, 10 minutes, we put the, all the, the perch back and yeah, change spot. So, but now let's put her in the lie well. So what we do now, it's uh, really going down along the bank and hammering um, as much as we can. We want to go inside the shade where they are hiding. And we use a big plug like uh, here is as a realis. And I want uh, those walk the dog to really 
clock, 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 make a lot of noise. So we are calling them out and hopefully they follow, follow in the sun and then they take it. So we really want to drag them out with big plugs. We don't hesitate to use a 13 centimeters plug like this uh, because um, it's really the size, it's not the size that they eat, but it's the size that's really uh, going to aggress them and take them out of the cover. 13, that's small, man. Yeah. I'm probably running 20 centimeters. <laughs> so what we're fishing is all this structure. As you can see here, you have this log here and then you have the tree coming over. So we want to hit that, hit it as close as possible. So we can uh, really pull the fish out from the, from the bank and from the trees hanging over here. It doesn't seem like they just want to hang around in this grass because the water temperature is almost 28 degrees now. So it seems like they want to have that shade, which wouldn't be a bad thing to be in either. <laughs> but uh, they're in there. We just have to pull them out. The topwater war continues and even though Niklas and Frederick haven't had much success so far, they are 100% dedicated to get that topwater point. After all, they know that the winning fish can hide anywhere in the structure. That fish could have been bigger than 37 centimeter, but unfortunately, Niklas tripped on a camera bag just as he tried to net the fish and bounced it off. Sorry, man. Ah, that was, okay. uh, <laughs> wasn't too nice. It was not the, the 50 we expect. No, no, no. But uh, maybe 36 or something. But so yeah, I should have. Uh... We just keep hammering. But you see, the fish we saw really in the shade. Yeah. Give us again confidence that really fish are, are hiding under it. Yeah. And when you call them with big plugs like this, yeah. they come out. They, ca they are coming out. So yeah. let's keep doing it. Yeah. Just keep rocking, boys, and I'm sure you will get that top water point. But Team Striking Loose seem to have cracked the code and are catching them one by one on the caffeine shad. Oh, her chopped it. Yeah, fish on. Good work. Another around 30 on the caffeine shed. Nice, put her in the line well. Great fun. We just need a big one now, so, or a bigger one. And you should fish the bait really, really fast. You shouldn't give the perch a chance to think about take it or not. You should just go for it. So I fish it really fast, the whole way into the boat. Oh, Shit. Ooh. Some hunting in the grass. Fish on. It's a small one, but it, it's a fish on this rattling pop, the black color. Now we'll take one more bigger. We need a 40 minimum. Elex Gunke have been grinding in deep water to have a chance at the top five point. They just caught a 43 centimeter crawfish eater, but they are running out of time. And with 223 centimeters on the top five, they are still way behind lure fans by the bleak. So they decide to change tactics once again. We cannot manage uh, to beat them for the total length. It seems to be more easy to catch a bigger fish on top water than to get really five bigger fish because we need uh, again nine centimeters. nine centimeters in two fish and uh, the small our smallest is 43 now we go all in for top water let's have fun i will go with the new side of the bunny the 107 it really caught some nice fish on it and maybe that's really the sound they like right now, so let's try. Så står der den store følger, står der den store følger, helvede den bombede den, så står der den, helvede vi kan jævle os. I got a big, 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 big follower. It just turned by the boat. 
Big, 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 big one. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a giant. That was a tank. That was Just, the one we needed. That was the one we really wanted. Oh upgrade. man, that was a big one. That was a really big one. That was the upgrade. That was a big upgrade, I can tell you that. It was just behind it. There you go! If this is a perch, that is a tank if it's a perch. No, it's perch! It's a perch! Oh, yeah. It's a perch! Boom! Tank town, baby! Boom! 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 Change the chatterbait to a black crawfish from our German friends Köfi. A super, super nice base that you can use as a button bait or you can have it on like a trailer on the blade jig. Super nice, really, really cool color. This is what we want. So, 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 so pretty. Let's check her out. She's 46, 46, super, super nice. Finally, after a long, long period with no nice fish, then came this one. Really healthy. Super nice looking, super stoked about it. This is what super we want. Fish. Nice one. That's a beautiful specimen right there. 46 centimeter and their fifth perch over 40 centimeters. They're now on second place on the top five board with nine centimeters up to lure fans bite of bleak. We now have four teams with more than 220 centimeters on their top five boards, which is quite impressive. And it basically takes only one fish for any of them to steal the top five point from lure fans bite of bleak. We have a few hours left of day one and a lot can still change. Bye bye, precious. Very important fish. Very important fish. Finally. Very important fish. <laughs> Woo! That was nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it feels really good. Good touch, really good touch. Come here, come here, come here. It's okay, it's okay. I have her, I have her. Upgrade, I think. Oh! First I cast up on her. First cast with a new bait I put on. <laughs> I don't know if it's an upgrade, but stand up head. We call it snake head on the North France Force Crow. Go measure this. See how big she is. Yeah, no, yeah. No. Yeah, no. No, 47. Yes. Right, mouth is closed. Yeah. And I have 47 there. Good, Peter. <sighs> That's it's important fish. Nice, nice, nice. Upgrade. Yeah. Well done, Peter. A 47 centimeter beauty giving lure fans by the bleak an upgrade by one centimeter to a total of 234 centimeters. That's like the five biggest perch of my life combined. Uh, I'm going to show you a new tackle system from Lurlock. We're gonna start shell this in 2021 in Sweden and in, and, and in Scandinavia. The, the special feature with this box is that they have a tack logic, they call it. It's a gel in the bottom of the box that keeps your bait in place. So when you're out and you want sharp hooks, the hooks don't get tangled up on each other. So you have nice order in your box. And I can show you, I can close this box and I can do like this. Keep it upside down. I can shake it and the bait stay in the box. Look at this. So I know all you perch anglers out there, you like to have, you know, order. So this is the new stuff we're gonna sell. It comes with the different sizes and good systems. Check it out, 2021. Big one, net. This is a big one. All right. I don't know. Not me. I don't know what it is. Anchor on. Yeah, that's a better one. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Ah, he took it again. It's a big one. It's, oh, it's a point fish. Man. Oh, no. Yeah, fish on. Oh, I lost it. It was just laying on the bottom. We almost lost hope. It's not a really big one, but it's like a point fish. It's like 38. It's not a monster. It won't improve our report, but I'm happy with it. I survived 26 grand. After catching the 37 centimeter topwater perch, it seems like Team Nace ran out of karma and now they're discussing whether to stay in this lake or if they have any other options. The thing is, I was here pre-fishing for two weeks ago 
and then we had really insane fishing in the lake. We had like an average size of 48 centimeters, but me and Dustin, we have been pre-fishing that lake now for three days straight and haven't caught a single one over 35 centimeters. I was like so safe that, yeah, we're gonna go to this lake and we're gonna have good fishing. We have done the proper training this year. And then we go there now, two, three days before the competition, not a single big one. That's perch fishing, but I hate it. I love to hate it. But that's also the thing, you never know, it can change. If you go now, maybe we'll catch. That's gambling, to, and we have to think about, will we stay here tomorrow at this place? Probably or, not. Or will we change the lake? But we had to go because we haven't pre-fished uh, a lake, except from the one where we caught three days nothing. <laughs> yeah, here in the training we caught some nice fish, but now nothing happens, so I changed the tactic. I don't use top water. I changed to a cheddar bait and uh, our warrior, there are two things very special I want to show you. First thing is you can attach your lure through a spiral. You can catch many fish with that and the lure will never come off. So that's a big advantage. You can fish faster, you can catch more with one trailer. And the other thing is we put a slot in here so you can use your own snap and start fishing without using the snap which is already on the shatter bait. So we'll see, maybe we catch some fish with the shatter bait now. Oh, JB just missed someone. Uh, someone just cut our, our, our fishing line with a bloody big boat, unrespectful, and I cast on uh, just right behind the engine, and I get a big, big fish show behind my popper. I didn't strike, so usually on the top water, you should we should not strike. So I didn't strike, but it that the, the fish missed the missed the lure. But that was big. That was really big. Right where the boat was crossing. Yeah, that was big. Have you seen that was a huge one. Definitely a huge one. <sighs> I didn't strike, so... Bloody hell. On that the right thing pop. Tiny wow. pop, black, black color. It's really, really bright, so we decided to both switch on uh, top water. So we're not jerking anymore. We're not chasing for big perch anymore. We're just chasing for the top water point. So whatever we're going to do for the last hours, we're going to keep hammering on the stick bait and on the popper. Basically, we're gonna blank or we're gonna get that point. That's it. One hour left until the six o'clock phone report where the first points of Perch Pro 7 will be handed out. Ilex Gunky are also spending the final hour chasing a bigger perch on the surface. The top water war is on. One hour left. Go, go, quick. go. Last hour and we need to step it up. Stepping as much as I can. But the big ones, they don't want to bite. Yeah, we have them here, but see that sonar. Oh my god, look at that sonar. Yeah, we are going for a new spot now, and here is uh, trees in the water. And I have a really clear plan here what to do. We're gonna start with top water, make some cast. If we get some action, we're gonna keep casting top water. Otherwise, we're gonna go drop shotting behind the trees. And I see a jumping fish over there. <laughs> nice. Or if the drop shot doesn't work, we're gonna go with the jerk baits as well. Yeah, fish on. Nice. Good one. No, it's a it's a small one. Okay. They are here. Captain Shad rocks. Yes. Not so small, but I. Have you seen it? No. Look. It's, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, I one as well. Oh, no, no. Yeah, fuck. Yes. How, how long? Maybe. Oh. Yeah, fish up. <laughs> I think it's a good one. Here, 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 here. I have it's another. A good, oh. I have another. Come on, come on, come on. It's a yes. nice perch. I think we have some of them are over 37. Yes. <laughs> Let's put it in the live well. Yeah, yeah. An amazing top water fish on caffeine shad again. Really nice. This is over 40. Let's measure it now. One more fish on. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. 41. 41. And here's a, a 41 centimeter top water fish. <laughs> and, and there's another, another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> it's 35. On caffeine shad. Oh, it took my tail. And a good thing, I rigged up one more on, a, on another rod on the way to the new spot. <laughs> Come on. Now we need a big one. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Hunting in the surf. Oh, oh. oh, it's a nice one, it's a nice one.
Yes, yeah, one more. Ooh. It's the last one? I don't know. I don't know yet. Should I help you? No, I'm fishing. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. No, not no monster, but... Oh, nice one. No, I missed it. Yeah, find the bait for the day and the spot. One more. 34, 35. And now we just need to catch that dream fish, Victor. We have the chance here. Yeah. Excellent topwater action and a new topwater top fish. 41 centimeter caught on a caffeine shed by Per Schernström. B E A beautiful. Down in France, Frederic tries some precision finesse fishing deep in the structure and instantly gets hooked up. They could probably have caught a lot of fish this way, but that wouldn't help them much in the chase of the top water point. Must feel good with some action though. Nice looking perch caught on the famous French lure Black Minnow. While Fred plays around with that, Niklas has another idea. There's one hour left. Uh, it's not really going as we are uh, hoping for it. Uh, so we're I'm doing some drastic uh, action here. A popper head I got from a guy at the show, which I don't remember where. Sorry about that one. And then Andreas Anderson's uh, unholy diver. Must be success. Let's try it out. Yeah, let's give it a shot. They were big ones. Yeah, they were big. Oh, f man. So we're just walking along the bank here, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I have like 10 fish, 40 plus, following my crazy popper here. And uh, one fish that was came, coming in the front, he was really active, and he was probably 45 plus. I didn't take it, and that was it. But sure that they're here, and they can appear any second, you know. Yeah. This is the third time we're fishing this stretch, and all of a sudden, they're there, you know. Big ass ones. That was a close one. The day is slowly coming to an end and the teams are desperately chasing upgrades. Team Mace are trying to increase their numbers while also fishing with top waters and hoping to catch a last minute lunker to get them that big fish point. Team Sporting are just centimeters behind Team Lurefans by the bleak and one fish could be enough to turn everything upside down. But the fishing has turned off completely. Right now I'm really frustrated. This this lake, the, the pre-fishing, there's been 95% of the fish has been on the bottom with jigs. We haven't caught nothing today. No fish on rubber baits today. All fish has come on chatter baits. It's really frustrating. We're finding the fish. There's loaded with fish down here. We can't get them to bite. We're trying everything, all kinds of baits. Soft bait, hard bait, chatter baits. It doesn't matter. It doesn't eat anything at all. Oh, oh, so near now. <laughs> <laughs> I took up the bait from the water and the pike just took a swan jump after it. It was a pike on maybe two, three kilo. <laughs> but it was... <laughs> My heart skipped a beat. There you go! Pike again. Oh, are you sure? I think. No, it's a big perch maybe? No. I think it's a pike, unfortunately. I don't think it's a perch, I'm pretty sure it's a pike. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this is not a perch. No, okay. If this is a perch, that is a tank if it's a perch, but I'm pretty sure it's a pike. I'm really sure it's a pike. Unfortunately. No, it's perch. It's a perch. Oh! Perch. Yes. Yes. Oh! 
I think I heard an echo. <laughs> it's a upgrade. It's an upgrade. It's, it's not a, an upgrade. It's not a T-Rex, but it's a big it, one. Yeah, it's, it's not a nice one. It's not a 40. It's not a 40. It's bigger than a 40. Good. Oh man. Good. Good, good, good. Smoked it. Put the new ring tees on, and we got this one. Boom. I take an, oh, Take cost. on. Cast. Let's see how big she is. I uh, bet it's an update. It's not a super tank, but it's a nice fish. Yeah. It's uh, 43, right? 43. 43. An upgrade. Pretty girl. Not the T-Rex that we wanted, but uh, she's good looking, dude. She's gonna be really hot when she's 53 centimeter. All the boys gonna chase her around. Hugs and kisses, baby. <sighs> nice. Nice fish, Stefan. We'll soon see how far that will take you. Now, Adam is finally hooked up. Need the net, David. This one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big one. Really big one. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where did you cough? Uh, down here. That's a it's high a, 40. It's a tank. It's a tank. Boom. It's like 40, 47. Bah, 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 bah. Oh my goodness! That is one heck of a perch. Look at that monster. Panzerfaust. The board is wetened. Ooh. It's 46. No, it's 47. 47. Yeah, 47. What a ornament. Look at this fish. It's a prime specimen. Back she goes. What a tank. Did not expect this one. Oof. All right. Full sails. Off we go. <laughs> I'm gonna jump hog Evert. <laughs> but I don't dare to do it. Last minutes, I just taking a chance with the top water to see what I can catch in the grass. Don't have so much confidence in it, but can only try. This would be a perfect moment. <sighs> yeah, yeah. It's time. It's time? Yeah, 18. Yeah. So, last cast of the day. Hard day today. <clears throat> last cast. Oh, wasn't even a good one. Man, good job. Sorry for that one, but it wasn't, wasn't going to change the score, no. I think. No, no, no. It will not change the score, but we saw some uh, big ones. Yeah. But uh, didn't want to come I'm up. I was worried that this water temperature has been yeah. so hot now. But they're yeah. just. We need to think yeah. further for the next spot. Yeah, yeah. Let's make the call and yeah. see. <laughs> how, far, <laughs> how far we are. <laughs> I don't want to know that. <laughs> That's it. First day of Perch Pro. What do you think? It was your first day. I think it was hard at the end, but we have a good morning, good start, and caught many big fish. Yeah. Not <laughs> enough, but the their score is crazy. Yeah. So it's a, It was a good day of perch fishing. Yes. Really good day of perch fishing. Last cast of Perch Pro. Day one. Catch a big one, Dustin. I will. It's important. It's important, yes. Come on, react, react. Take it. Big ones. Where Over. Are you? First day. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. But what to do? Tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow we will snatch a lot of points. So that, that's for sure. It was a good day. Still, it was fun. Yeah, we caught a lot of fish. Yeah, 57, I think. Yeah. See you in episode three. No, we're going to call them first. And then we'll see them. <laughs> okay, hi guys, Niklas Bauer here from Team uh, Hummingbird uh, Vision. We got a total of uh, two fish. The biggest fish is uh, 35 centimeter on top water, and the total length of the two big is 69 centimeter. Hello, Dustin, Team Nace. Uh, we have total amount of 57 fish. Our top fish is 37 centimeters. We have a total length of 177 centimeters. And our biggest topwater fish is 37. Uh, this is Silver from uh, Fox Rage Salmo. We have a total of five fish. Biggest one, 45. Total length, 176. Biggest fish in topwater, 31. 
Uh, it's paired from loose striking. We have a total amount of 18 fish, big fish 41 cm, top 5 195 and our biggest top water is 41 cm. And all fish caught on top water. All fish on top water. Good job. Good job, Luz. Here's Mark from Ilex Gunky speaking. We have a total of 26 fish. Big fish is 48. Total length is 223. And big fish on top water is uh, 35. Uh, hi guys, uh, this is Linnea from Sporting. Uh, we got a total number of eight fish. Biggest one is 47. Uh, total length is 228. And nothing on top water. Crazy. It all is crazy. So this is Adam from Catch With Care. And our total numbers are 26. Our biggest fish is 47. Our total length of the big five is 225 and we got jack shit on top water, that's a zero. Okay guys, hello, this is Pelle from Bite of Bleak and Lure Fans. We got the number of 151 purchase. The longest one is 48 and our total big fish is 235. <laughs> Good job, well done. Good job. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, thank well you very done. much. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Congrats, yeah, you. guys. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Good to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Congrats. Bye-bye. Well done, bye -bye. guys. Well done. <laughs> they killed the game. <laughs> <Good show. laughs> that was Lure fans, I think. That. I think that too. <laughs> You hear that? Whoa! <laughs> oh, they got three points. So they get three points already on the first day. <laughs> no, 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 no. They get yeah, they yeah, get three yeah, yeah. points. They, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! That's a crazy result. That makes no sense at all. Yeah. Look at that. Who got the points? Bite of Bleak has the number. The number definitely plus, with 151. Plus the big one. Plus the big one. Okay. And the top five. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good day for uh, them. CWC has nothing. Sporting. It's got nothing. Got nothing. Genki. Genki has one point for the big fish. Yeah. Lose has one point for, for the, the top. top water. Well done, guys. We got nothing. Yeah. Nays got, got nothing. nothing. No thing. Yeah. Human bird got no. nothing. So what? Out of eight teams, only three teams own some points, and we are one of those. So, so that's not so bad. Not too bad. Thank you for the day. One beer for the big. One beer for the big. <laughs> 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 oh, crazy. Crazy day, bro. Yeah, it's really crazy day. <laughs> and it uh, went all the way. <laughs> I did, couldn't believe it. No, no, no. I was thinking that someone had a, like, sporting or, or a nace. I thought that they had, a, or maybe, like, sporting. Yeah. How many points? Three points. Three points, first day. Mm. What to do, my friend? The thing is that Lure Fans is going to go to the same leg tomorrow. 100%. Keep getting the same numbers. So we just yes. need to make a high risk move and go to another water. We don't know, we didn't pre fish, but I think we should do that. Because now it's all or nothing. For sure. <laughs> we have Give the top. Top water. <laughs> yes. Yes. So let's go home, go in the pool, have a beer, yeah. and get ready for tomorrow. That's how we do it in that's France. A, that's a plan. <laughs> it was a pleasure, man. That's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Fredig's only they only caught two fish. Yes. Could you imagine ten hours two fish? Yes. I don't know where they are, by the way. Maybe they are the other side of the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Frederic, are you up there? La boss. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Don't miss episode three, and uh, I promise we'll do better. Definitely. Yes. This day had a great start. They didn't last. Two fish in the first cast in the morning and then 
totally died after that. Got the one fish here and one fish there. Ended up with eight fish in the whole day. But it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Today we lost big time. I really thought that we were at one point there. <sighs> you remember this feeling? <laughs> Far too f***ing well. Ladies and gentlemen, the first day of Perch Pro 7 has officially come to an end and oh boy what a day it's been. The newcomers, lure fans Bite Oblique, had a fantastic start which earned them no less than 3 points. The number point with 151 fish, the big fish point with a 48cm perch and the top 5 point with a massive 235cm on the board. Team Strike King Lou snatched the top water point with a 41cm perch and Ilex Gunky was also given a point since there was a draw between them and lure fans Bite Oblique on the big fish point. All in all, we just couldn't have asked for a more intense start and now the teams have some work to do if they want to have any chance to compete with Peter and Pella about the throne. The boats are being taken up all around Europe except for Team Nace in the north of Sweden. They decided to do something which you should never do after a fishing competition, making just a few more casts before going home. Guess three times what happened. Why do we have to do this Dustin again? Like. Dustin wanted to take one more cast just to like fix the line and of course he catches the biggest one for today. For our whole pre-fishing. Why Dustin? It's a nice one. It's a tank. It's a tank Toby. <laughs> hey, I was talking about karma and my thumb. Look at this. I just want to cry Dustin. Me too, it's really long. Moment of truth. 43. Not that big, but fish the whole day and catch just small ones and then this one. Really beautiful. Next time in competition, my friend. Well, well, catching fish like that after day like that just isn't good for your health. But nice fish anyhow. My name is Mille Pettersson and you have been watching Perch Pro 7. See you guys next week. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Hey då. Oh.